Honestly, no idea how I got here. <laughs> but this, this background, bro, this looks fake. So this is the story of how I ended up here. Hi, I didn't see you there. <laughs> this trip was so last minute. I was just like, I'm just gonna try the iPhone. And honestly, this quality might be better than my actual camera. I feel like this just looks so crazy that it's gonna look good no matter what. I've been living in New York for the past two months with your mom's house. I've had so many great memories. I've learned so much. I'm very thankful to call them my friends and also very thankful for everyone that watches my videos. It's surreal to me and crazy. Um, yeah, I'm just very thankful. So I don't know how else to say that without being cheesy. Anyways, while I was in New York, I got this text. They call themselves the Vista Boy. And if you've seen my previous videos, if you're OG, basically I moved to San Diego for two months with all these college kids. Pretty much they're like frat stars, I would say. So I lived with them for two months. I became really good friends with them. I would definitely call them some of my best friends. I don't know if they think the same thing. Maybe they're just like, oh, we need we need more money, so let's invite him. <laughs> anyway, so I get the text. They go, it's our spring break. You want to come to Cancun? So I'm like, hmm, Cancun. Looked at my bank account, saw there was not much in there. And of course, I'm like, yeah, I'm down. I bought a one-way ticket to Cancun and had no idea where I was going after. I was like, okay, well, I don't have that much money, but... Cancun seems, this seems pretty nice. I get on the flight, come here to Cancun. Uh, first of all, the water is it's so blue. Is that real water? Some blue ass water. I arrive here in Cancun. I'm all by myself. I literally have only New York clothes. I have a beanie on and like sweatpants in 80 degree weather. Dude, I didn't bring any shorts here. Immediately get hustled. You know, everyone's like, I'm the best taxi, I'm the best taxi. The guy comes up to me and he's like $80 for an individual ride. I'm like, dude, I have. I literally have no money. Somehow I convinced him to get it down to 35. I still think he hustled me because the Airbnb wasn't that far, but he was really cool. He was honestly really funny. He got me to the taxi. This guy was amazing. Mi amigo. Marco Antonio. Marco Antonio. Es un buen chico. He drove me to the Airbnb. We're then greeted by Luis, who I've become very good friends with. Luis es mejor. <laughs> okay, it's gracias. the best. I get here, I'm like, bro, this is for sure the wrong house. Where? Dude, oh my, look at that pool. It's like there's no way we're staying in this <laughs> cartel mansion. <laughs> Holy crap. What is this place? I was immediately greeted by Susie. And Marta, I think her name was. I'm so bad with names. I wonder if she watches this. Lo siento, Marta, or uh, I just honestly don't remember. But Susie greeted me with some mango and some chips and guac, and I'm just honestly blown away. I feel like this is a dream. Maybe I'm hyping it up too much, but this house is literally crazy. So this is what I recorded, my reaction of the house on my phone. Dude, this house is way too nice for me. Alright, I just got here. I had no idea what I signed up for. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> There's no way that's our jet ski. What? How did that happen? Where am I right now? Oh, where am I? Dude, what the hell? <laughs> what is this place? Oh my gosh. It's a basketball. What is up here? I don't know. It's <laughs> like I'm in like a city. What the heck? <laughs> no. There's a balcony. I'm gonna flip out. No, don't do me like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where am I? Oh my gosh. What the heck is this? Oh, I'm just too excited. What is this? <laughs> Look at this view. This is fake. <laughs> How did I get here? Now my bank account is just negative. Is it worth it? It just goes on forever. More rooms? I don't know if I've already been here. It's just so many rooms. Okay, we got more. Oh, this one looks looks like really hot in here with the one fan. I call not this bedroom. Walking shower? Look at this. Oh my gosh. There's too many bathrooms. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, no, there's two. I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the toilet. I'm in the toilet. It was 
those roads. I don't know what to say in this video. I'm just kind of like showing off. I'm not trying to be like, oh, my life is better than yours. Because honestly, kind of didn't even look at the Airbnb. I was thoroughly surprised how nice this place is. Here for four days. I don't even know, man. This is crazy. There's no way I'm here right now. <laughs> I don't know why I made this video. I just feel like people see this luxury and think, oh, YouTube makes so much money and you're so lucky to be a YouTuber. But to be honest, oh no, no, no. To be honest, I do not make very much money. I'm very thankful that you guys support me. And this is my full-time job, but I feel like I'm more like surviving than actually living, which I feel like is so like, I'm at this beach house. Oh my gosh, this life is so hard. I feel like a lot of videos are all highlights and this one is definitely a highlight, you know, showing off this house. YouTube, you're not gonna put in the bad stuff, you know, when you're sad, broke and not eating lunch or whatever. But I just really wanna make this video to inspire other people to like actually live your life because in my opinion, if I have a little bit of money, I would much rather do something cool like this rather than spend it on a stupid $20 Louis Vuitton hat. Look, I got a Louis Vuitton hat. This Airbnb in Cancun for me to come here was $350 for three or four nights since we've been here, which is actually insane. The total of the trip was probably around like $700, which is a lot of money, but it's like for what you get, I totally think it's worth it. I can't pay for this experience I had. You know, it's hard to say anyone could do this. I think I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I can. I don't know why I'm trying to be like inspiring in this video. It's not like impossible to, you know, do something like this. And on top of that, one of my biggest takeaways, of course, this place is amazing, but if I was here by myself, it wouldn't have sucked, but it would definitely not be as fun as all these people I stayed with. Can't pay for friendship. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being like all cheesy, I feel like, but you could be anywhere and as long as you have a good group of friends with you, it's gonna be fun no matter what. That's kind of all I got to say. I'm really not sure what this video was, but um, I just feel like being more real to you guys rather than just showing like a cool montage of this place is so much better. So save up some money, go get an Airbnb in Cancun with your friends and you will thank me later. Got the suitcase. Was a fun trip. I don't know where I'm heading next. Don't have a lot of money, but we'll see. We'll see.